The Cayo Perico heist is dead. That's right, for the 10th anniversary of GTA Online coming up in a few days, Rockstar's gift to us all is the biggest nerf ever to the Cayo Perico heist. And that's saying something, because this heist has been nerfed before. If you don't remember, there was never a cooldown on the Cayo Perico heist when it first came out. Now, if you do this heist solo, you have to wait two and a half hours to play it again. But this nerf today is even worse a permanent 30% decrease on the payout. So let's talk about exactly what changed because there is a bit more to it than just that. So a massive thank you to Tez on Twitter for being the first one to break this info. And all of this info is on your screen now. So what has actually changed? Well, Roxa hasn't changed the payouts for a few items. Okay, so the pink diamond will be staying at 1.3 million. The panther statue will be staying at 1.9 million. And the Madrazo files will also be staying at 1.1 million. Every other primary target has been reduced by 30%. Look at these new payouts, man. These are depressing. Tequila is now only going to pay 630,000. The Ruby Necklace only 700. And the Bearer Bond only 770k. There's now a 60% decrease in the minimum value from El Rubio's safe as well. So now you can get as little as $20,000 from that safe. Before, you were guaranteed to get at least 50,000 up to 99,000. But now it could be anywhere between 20,000 and 99,000. But yeah, that's not all. The setup fee for this has increased from $25,000 to $100,000, which is going to sting. Plus, we've got a 10% decrease on every single secondary loot except gold. Now, if you haven't realized what Rockstar is actually doing here yet, let me break it down to you. Back when the big cooldown nerf came to Kaya Perico about a year ago now, they made a two and a half hour cooldown for solo players who completed the heist. But it's only a 48 minute cooldown if you don't complete it solo and you complete it with someone else. So basically Rockstar is trying to encourage players to play non-solo while also still giving you the option to earn decent money solo. And you can see that here, where Rockstar is increasing the chance of getting Coke as your secondary target up to 60% when you're playing with two or more players. At the same time, they'll also be reducing the chance of getting cash from 80% down to 40% when you have two or more players. And of course, we know Coke is the second highest paying secondary target behind gold, and cash is the worst. We should also note that if you're playing solo, the chance of getting coke has been lowered from 40% to 30% as well. So essentially what this should do is of course encourage people to play this heist as a duo, trio, or four stack. Because now you're not going to get as big of a pay cut, right? Like you could complete this heist solo previously and easily get 1.3 to 1.5 million. But if you did it with two players, you would only get around 1.8 million. So it really wasn't worth bringing anyone else along. Whereas now, for example, you're probably looking at getting about 1 to 1.1 million dollars solo. And because you can only get gold as a duo, that now means that it's much more enticing to play as a duo because the primary target isn't as important. Anyway, so what do I think of this? Um, I think this is really bad, of course. Nerfing something that players love is never going to go over well. But I do see what Rockstar's trying to do. They're trying to make it so that you technically should be encouraged to play with someone else, but you don't have to. And overall, I think that's a good thing. But what I don't think is a good thing is going ahead and nerfing older content in order to make this happen. I'm all for encouraging players to play with someone else as long as they can still play solo. But I don't think nerfing existing solo content is the way to go about it. Instead, you should introduce new content that is both solo and non-solo friendly. Or instead of nerfing the payout for doing this solo, why not just increase the value of something like gold. That way people would be encouraged to play as a duo while not having their solo payouts completely tanked. I don't know, man. But what I do know is we're going to have to have a serious conversation about whether it's worth running the Cayo Perico heist as often now and whether you should just run something like the contract instead. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. RIP Kayo Perico, it is possibly, maybe, still the best way to make money in the game. But with that really long cooldown and this massive nerf to the payouts now, it's not as far ahead as it once was. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!
But you won't find me on the mountaintop Need no calculator, I could wait 